and I'm gonna tell you how it can make you stronger in the saddle too. What's up, Flomies? I'm gonna share some barn secrets with you today. And even if you're not a horse person, I hope that this inspires you to take a minute out of your day just to think about what it is that you're gonna do for your day to be the best you can be. So I'm gonna show you some things I do around the barn um, on a stall front, I actually just started this. I'm not even gonna front. I typically do everything in a gym, in a fancy dancy gym. I've just started doing my cardio outside and with some inspiration from the squad, I'm gonna start doing things in the barn. The main reason is, this is my dream barn and it's got my dream flooring in it. Polly Last has put in this antimicrobial floor. We literally can be barefoot on. That is the cleanest environment for not only my horses, but my dogs and my friends. So. We are gonna do all the stuff and things that I normally do in a gym. I skipped my workout this morning. We're gonna do it right here in the barn. And I'm gonna tell you how it can make you stronger in the saddle too. It's time for a short commercial break from Mansports, mansports.com. Use code Fallon, get your bands, you're gonna need them. This commercial break has been sponsored by mansports.com. Back to the workout. I would also like to say I am not a fitness trainer. I am a barrel racer. So I'm gonna teach you these things because I've done this professionally for 30 years. I've had mentors help me in the gym and put the two things together to make a fitness strong in the saddle baby. So a big thing that everybody struggles with in the saddle is keeping their posture upright. So a lot of people, especially my friend at the clinic in Oregon, you know who you are, you were asking me about how to keep your body forward when your horse is running faster than you have the ability to go. So take your bands and step way back. We're just on a stall front. Shout out to my tennis shoe boots. I am not sponsored by these, but you can get them on my Amazon favorites list. Had them for two years, they're amazing and they're machine washable. And I can do stuff like this in them. So my feet are shoulder width apart and I'm just gonna mock being in the saddle and having some tension on the reins. And I'm gonna practice getting up to the ball of my feet. So if you look at my feet, I'm on the ball of my feet and I'm raised up. And I'm giving all the pressure back to my horse. So I'm gonna practice that like 10 times in a row of going up like this. For you guys that do English, you can practice this too, but I would do it a little bit differently. But for a barrel racer people, this is what I would do. Sit your butt down, push yourself up. If you've seen any of my English videos, you know how big my calves are. This is not gonna make them smaller. This is gonna help me be more athletic in the saddle. Another thing that we really need to utilize whenever, first of all, I love these bands because I can just make them into whatever. I'm gonna pop the handles off. So, we need to be able to utilize pulling across our body and our body not moving. So doing this across our body is gonna help strengthen us. A lot of people that are running barrels that come to my clinics, they are super, super young and they need more strength. They can do this right here. Then you turn it around and you pull it toward you. Super importante. This one I learned from my trainer in the gym. It's called Turkish get-ups if you wanna Google it in the gym. I call it hell on earth, but you need to do it. This will help make you so strong. And again, there's nobody too young or too old to do some of these things. So the goal is keep one arm up in the air like this and any way that you see that you can get down, get back like this and get up and don't put any this arm anywhere and your dog will be sure to help you. Okay, edit the back, sit back. Now just get up. This is gonna help you when you get in really bad position, get back up out of whatever bad position you're in. How many times have you lost a stirrup and you feel like you're off over on the side or you're way behind or you're like all sorts of discombobulated? Practice those scenarios and make yourself get up. If you have a normal barn, don't do it in your barn, do it in your house, but if you got poly last, lay it on down. We're gonna do one more thing um, just with me and my friends in the barn. We've never done this before in the barn together and I'm really excited about it, but I skipped my morning meditation and I skipped my workout and we are gonna just like meditate and stretch out, just get our blood flow going. We worry so much about these animals and we take very little time out of the day for us. So we're gonna see if that doesn't get us just a little bit more centered and focused before we go ride.
Okay, now it's time to ride. I am riding Nephi, which I'm very excited about. Jesse is hard at work on passion project stuff today. So I'm gonna take the reins over. We're actually going to set up the timers in the arena and see where everybody clocks because anything that you can measure, you can progress. I teach that in barrel racing college, so I wanna teach it at home too for all of us so we can see where we are. And if I make a really hard run on Nephi, Jessie can start to compare herself to where I'm at and work her way to, toward that and vice versa. So I'm riding today without a breast collar, just out of sheer laziness, that's the only reason. I'm in my sports saddle. I am in a three quarter best ever pad. I believe this is their Kush pad. This was done by Desert Rose. It's the Man Sports custom pad that I had done. My saddle is a 14 and a half. And then I used um, these boots by Prodigy on the front. These are size large, actually hind boots. I just threw them on the front to see how I like the fit. And I like them, they're pretty good. I would rather them be a smaller size for her. Then I'm using the overreach boots that I told you guys about that are on my Amazon favorites list. And what I love about these, there's some improvements that I would like to be made. So if another company comes along that improves upon them, I'll let you know. But for now, these are the best ones I've found and you can wrap them like a knee wrap. So they're not gonna turn around. They're gonna stay right where they are. And if they do turn around, it's not at all devastating. So until somebody comes along and improves it, I'm not changing those boots. I love them. All right, let's go ride. Okay, it's riding time. I've got my Troxel helmet on. Make sure and use code Fallon to get free shipping on this bad boy. I love this one. I just think it's the cutest. And me and Nephi are ready to go. I'm using Biothane reins. Of course, I have my saddle sack in here. Typically keep a little bit of sunscreen, but today I've got sunnies and my phone. So I'll have it right there on me. That way I can use apps to track my speed and my times and different things like that right here on my phone. Get yours at FallonTaylor.com. Cody is on Mojo and Stormy is about to come out from the barn on Knickknack, but we are gonna go ahead and get started. This is Cody's very first run on Mojo. We're very excited. I have the timer here ready. Here it goes. Yeah! Twenty point zero five one. Was that so good? Oh my God! Holy crap! The point is, going faster is somehow always easier. If you've ever started to drive a um, like a clutch five-speed manual transmission vehicle, you'll always know going faster is easier when all else fails. Hit the gas. Look at that tack, girl. Look at that tack. She's rocking my five star pad and then her um, little 11 pound saddle with a saddle sack on it. Um, I can't remember, Meacham I think is who makes that saddle. Then she's got a sweet six on her. Nineteen six eight. I won the rodeo. I won the backyard rodeo. I'd like to thank my sponsors. Man Sports, Ranch Dressing, Troxel Helmets, Total Equine, Forefront Equine, yeah. Glam and Grit Hats, BarrelRacingCollege.com, Eris Equine, thank you. That's it for today with me and my homies, AKA the Flomies. Shout out to you Flomies. So proud that you joined us. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to get subscribed and ding that notification bell. And don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you tomorrow.